Good morning, folks. You probably heard by now, probably aren't surprised, this has been the hottest year on record. And folks, heat is merely one sector smashing records. UK rain records, the tropical storms so far this year, cold records in the UK and India last winter, Australian flooding earlier this year, Russian rainfall, US tornadoes, fire, drought. Is this all happening? The major quake of the day yesterday was a six-pointer downgraded to a 5.6 in the eastern Mediterranean. Got volcanoes near there. Also a moderate tremor hit on the mid-Atlantic ridge. Scotland shellfish sector took a hit as toxic algae blooms inhibit coastal catching. And in Denmark, a man using heroin laced with anthrax has died from the disease. You remember we had CME set to hit Earth? They weren't major, but they did cause geomagnetic instability pretty much all day. You can see that disturbance peaking in the center of each graph here and waning near the end. We may not be out of the woods yet, however, as Ovation Prime still does show particle bombardment this morning. Solar wind density will not stay down. We will probably get a short little break from CME impacts here in favor of having to monitor for flares. We have already seen the new active region waking up, slowly building up to M-class flares. You remember yesterday I said just give her the damn delta label. Thank you, Noah. Let's have a look, shall we? Take this lower right portion of the active region, and you can see blue on the bottom left of it, red in the middle, and blue on the right. It's beta gamma by itself. The central region is spreading laterally, horizontally, and the red on the right is mixing with the blue. But the real danger here is the delta spot. Just behind the massive black umbra, you see blue shooting back into the red, all within that thin, confined area. That's where the magnetism can mix dangerously and pop off big flares. Not much else happening on the sun as she turns in to face us here. Probably be square up tomorrow with that active region. We know Jupiter and Venus are in the sky in the morning, but if I jump ahead day by day, the 15th sees the moon between them. Got a lot of planetary positioning to pay attention to in the coming weeks after that. In the evening time right now, I've been telling you about a beautiful triangle scene out there. It's easiest to first locate Saturn. Kronos sits atop Spica right there, another bright star, with Mars over to the right. This is easier to spot than you think, and of course Arcturus is up there, one of the skies brightest up the triangle top. Eyes open, folks. That's the news. Be safe.